Good morning. Uh, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, today is June 18, 2022. Uh, it's a Saturday. Welcome to our morning devotions. Uh, we continue on on chapter 3 of the book of the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, he presented here the character of John the Baptist who was baptizing and Jesus Christ would be anointed by the high priest which had been, should have been John the Baptist. And then another character, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, those are just some of the sect that sprung up after the Babylonian captivity. So verse number 7 to verse number 12, But when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers. So he, John the Baptist uttered strong words of condemnation here, seeing the Pharisees and the Sadducees, <clears throat> whom he perceives or he whom John the Baptist perceives as uh, hypocrites, or just playing it out in the book. What warned you to flee from the wrath to come? So the day of judgment, the, the, the message of John the Baptist, repent for the kingdom of heaven <clears throat> is at hand. So people are repenting and one, uh, one sign of that repentance is that they come to John the Baptist believing his message and believing that the kingdom of heaven has already arrived. So they submitted to him for baptism which is unique uh, it was trailblazed by John the Baptist uh, uh, another person baptizing another person is something new because they just immerse themselves in the water by themselves but this time someone is baptizing them that's why John the Baptist was called John the Immerser the Pope baptism is immersion John the Baptist is John the Immerser he was immersing people into the water as a sign of their repentance and accepting the message of John the Baptist. So the Pharisees and the Sadducees came to his baptism from which John the Baptist, uh, the religious uh, Jewish religious system during that time were corrupt, evil. Instead of taking care of the sheep, the shepherds are taking care of themselves. <clears throat> uh, so they have lavishly, corruptedly, hold on to that position wherein the high priest position during that time are being lobbied and bought and influence who has a greater influence to the Roman leadership then uh, or, or even the highest bidder then, then they get the position of the high priest from which John the Baptist bolted out of that uh, system because as I've said he has that rightful ear or claim to that high priestly position because he is from the Sadokian line of priests and both of the parents of John the Baptist or John the Immerser were priests. So he bought it out. Some historian will say that John the Baptist joined the Essenes or the Qumranite Jews or those that established the Qumran community from whence we get the Dead Sea Scrolls. So, uh, but after he realized that he has that calling of the Elijah like that would come. So he bolted out and then started baptizing people and having this message of repentance for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So he uttered strong words of condemnation. Verse 9, verse 8, bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. So our focus of our study this morning, devotional word that we can think about the whole day is the word repentance. So some would define repentance as a 360 degrees or 180 degrees turn from sin towards God. Of course, there's twofold action when we say we have repent. We repent from, uh, from something, then we turn towards into something. So basically, when we say when we define repentance as 180 degrees turn from sin unto God, so if we accept that person, eh, have we truly repented? Because we have not really turned totally from sin towards God. But we may have turned from some sin, but not totally. So basically, when we say repentance, we define it as uh, a change of mind. So, in this context, the change of mind here is 
down the line from verse 9 to verse 12. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Uh, verse 10, and also the, the axe is laid unto the roots of the trees. So we all know that the trees symbolizing Israel is the fig tree as a nation, uh, the vine tree, their uh, spirit, religious privileges, and the olive tree, their spiritual privileges. So these three trees mentioned in the New Testament and even in the Old Testament are representative of the nation of Israel so because of the evil system the shepherds uh, taking care of themselves instead of the people so John the Baptist brings this message to the Jewish religious evil system during the time that they should change their ways they should have changed their minds about the things that they're doing because the true king the true kingdom is coming and the judgment is coming. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me, speaking of the Lord Jesus Christ, is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to, be, to bear. So those are words of uh, total humility of John the Immerser to that coming. As I, as I said, these are the picture of Elijah, which symbolizes or picturizes John the Baptist, John the Immerser, and the double portion of Elijah, who is coming to take over is Elisha. I this baptize you with water, but he that cometh unto me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So baptizing not by the Holy Ghost, the baptizer is the Lord Jesus Christ, and we are baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire whose file is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. In other words, John the Baptist uttered the strong words of condemnation to these evil she shepherds, leadership, Jewish religious leaders, and he emphasizes that your privilege will soon be ended or be cut off because of the things that you are doing so the focus of our morning devotion is repentance have we truly repented or what should we be repenting of in this context we should the 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 the, the, yeah, the Baptist is condemning these religious leaders because they thought number one they thought that, that because of their uh, spiritual privileges that they will earn their way into the kingdom of God. But John the Bible says, you must ch change your ways or repent. And then thinking that through their own self-righteousness, they will earn their way uh, into the kingdom of God. John the Bible says, you must repent. You must change your way. Another thing is that because they thought that they are from the line of Abraham. Remember that Abraham... Uh, is a representative of the nations not just only of Israel because Abraham was still a Gentile when God chose him out of the birth of the nations so it also speaks to us uh, by faith just like the, Ab the Abrahamic kind of faith then we can earn our way towards the kingdom of God so, there are three things that we need to, to consider when we talk about have we truly repented or have we truly changed our minds. Number one, do we think that our own self-righteousness will, will earn us that kingdom, a place of the kingdom of God? Number two, do you think that your lineage or genealogy, uh, do you think that it will earn you? your place in the kingdom of God. The only thing that John the Baptist, John the Immerser, is asking these Pharisees and Sadducees bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance. Your religious, spiritual, national privileges will not earn you a spot or a place in the kingdom of God. So, 
arbitrarily uh, have a change of mind. Magandang umaga, pagpalain tayo sa buong kapon. Shabbat Shalom.